know, the South has a very rich history of storytelling. And storytelling was used to, as teaching tools, used as a way of imparting morals, and also as a way of just reinforcing bonds when you're together there, all of one accord, listening to the story that's being told. Now, when I was a kid growing up in Nashville, sometimes on warm summer evenings, the old men would tell us kids stories. There was this one old man, Uncle Joe was his name. When Uncle Joe was gonna tell a story, word would spread through the neighborhood like wildfire. We'd be fidgety all day till the time finally came. By twilight, we'd be sitting cross-legged in the grass, facing his front porch. Some of us talking in whispers. Some of us just waiting quietly. I remember the smell of honeysuckle and, and the warm breeze and the buzz of an occasional June bug. And, and one evening, the screen door screeched open and Uncle Joe, a tall, thin, straight back, big overall man, stepped out and went over to the old rocking chair, sat down and leaned back and closed his eyes. We waited in anticipation. His face was unreadable. Then he opened his eyes, turned his head to the side, spit a stream of tobacco, looked back at us and said, all right, children, I'm going to tell y'all about bloody bombs. <laughs> we were old enough to know there wasn't any such thing as ghost or haints or headless horsemen. But when Uncle Joe spun his yarn, he parted the curtain that separates that dream from this dream. And we followed him willingly into magical places where wolves talked and flowers danced and, and bloody bones lurked in dark corners and behind hedge bushes. And we would have to sleep with the lights on in our room for a week after, lest every creak of the floor, or brush, or branch against the window pane was cause for alarm. In no time, Uncle Joe was ending his story with it. And Bloody Bones caught the two little hooky playing boys, put them in a grass sack, throwed it over his back, and took them off to cook and eat later on. They don't pay to do no wrong, cause Bloody Bones is awaiting. Y'all children get on long home before your mama's have to call you in for supper. Huh? Walking home with my best friend, Ed, I said more to myself than to, to Ed. When I grow up, I'm going to tell stories just like Uncle Joe.